What's up everyone? We've seen a lot of flying machines with one or two fans, and people seem to believe the one fan wonder goes twice as far on a battery as the two fan design, like the hover bike or the goblin glider. In this video, I'm putting that to the test. First, as you can see, I spent a lot of time optimizing the one fan wonder. I was planning on producing a video about how to make the perfect one fan flying machine, but after these results, I don't think I'll bother. Forgive the fact that I don't have a continuous recording, I don't have a video capture card, I'm just using the Switch's built-in video capture button. I timed these flights using a stopwatch. I actually ran these races multiple times to ensure I got consistent results. For horizontal distance across Hyrule Field, the One Fan Wonder on average took 2 minutes and 14 seconds, or 134 seconds, and 20 energy cells. The hover bike took 1 minute 47 seconds, or 107 seconds, and 24 energy cells. So the one fan uses half the energy, but it also loses some of the benefit because it flies slower. In the end, the two fan design is 25% faster, and the one fan design can fly about 12% farther horizontal distance for the same energy. Next, I tested how much vertical height each of these can climb. The test is real simple. I start on the launch pad at the Hudson construction site, climb until the battery runs out, and watch the z-axis position in the heads-up display. For both, the starting height is 93. The one fan max height was 1120, so it climbed 1027 meters. The two fan max height was 1820, so it climbed 1727 meters. That's 68% higher. So the two fan design is faster, more enjoyable, cheaper, easier to build, with a much greater ability to climb heights. The only way the one fan is better is marginal extra horizontal distance for the same battery. I mean, I'm not saying I will never use the one fan flyer ever again, but probably not. Maybe if you're in the early game exploring the depths, but if you're crossing horizontal distances with extremely little battery, you're probably better off building a wheeled vehicle. If you have any questions or are there are any other comparisons you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments. Thanks and bye!